everybody today we're going to be watching some horror clips but more specifically meat canyon uh the first one is called yokai bob the builder enjoy the video all right all right here traditional japanese home I thought you were going to fix that leak. I'll get to it, I'll get to it. But first, I have to eat this dumpling. Atamu, please. Hey, you're the one making delicious food. What am I going to do? <laughs> They're chilling and having a... G oh, here we go. <laughs> Bob the Builder! <laughs> What's up, dude? It's been a long time since I've seen you. Oh Christ. He needs to fix that leak. <laughs> Listen, you're not welcome here. So please leave my home. No <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> Bakara. No Can we fix it? Atom, his hand his hand. <laughs> His hand is fused into the hammer. What the? You're not fixing anything. You're just... <laughs> Holy shit! He's like the the teacher lady from Little Nightmares. What is that? What is, the, what is that thing? I'm not sure. Should I be reading this out loud to you guys? <laughs> Oh, he's getting ready to bust up. Is he just going to fix the leak and leave? That'd be hilarious. Why Bob the Builder in the tradition? Just say yes, we can, dude. Leave us evil spirit. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, my God. Just say yes, we can. Let him fix the leak. I think he just wanted to fix the leak, and that's it. And he would have left. Let go of her. Oh, can he not walk? Oh, his arm's broken. But now there's more than a. Is that how it's gonna end? What? <laughs> you don't. You might not want to. Where is she? <laughs> Just let him fix the leak. Oh, the sound. How can a man take care of his family if he can't even take care of his home? <laughs> he just wanted to fix the leak, dude. Is that like his flesh that he used? Oh. Ew. You can't fix this. What? <laughs> he's like, he's a spirit? What was this? <laughs> it was great. Oh, what the hell? Poor man. You should have watched the show. If you would have watched the show, he would have known to say, yes, we can. And your wife would be here. And you'd be good. Every day I break something else in this empty home. But still, he never comes for me. To give me the same fate as my beloved wife. That was sad. Is that how it ends? What did I just watch? What the fuck? <laughs> this is great. Gotta say, to break things in the house every single day over the course of years in order to get this creepy ass Bob the Builder to show back up, I feel as though that's not gonna work because his whole point was how are you, how are you supposed to take care of your family if you can't fix your home? I think he just wanted you to fix the goddamn leak. 
<laughs> not make it worse not make your house worse maybe he would have shown up then a lot earlier so oh man he was that man was very stupid down to the end watch bob the builder this one's Hello, called meat canyon my first slumber I I party take a break from the parodies for a moment and tell you all a story from my life a little chapter out of my book called my first slumber party okay i was eight years old the sun was beginning to set and i was full of excitement for the night ahead me and it's my gonna friend get weird. had been hanging out for a couple hours playing video games and exchanging our collection of pokemon cards Luke's mother had a gorgeous smile, offering us a never-ending <laughs> supply of banana slices. Why are they just banana slices? You it was plot? a normal night. At least, so I thought. Time for bed! We have church in the morning, banana and we have to slices? get up real early. An ocean of disappointment flooded over me. I was not aware this was a part of the plan. When I think about going to heaven, it makes me just so happy. Oh God! I want to go there so bad. I want to see my grandma and my grandpa. My youth pastor says they're waiting for me. I'll race you to my room. All right, that was intense. He left me there alone to traverse the darkness of his house all by myself. Standing confused, I knew I had to push forward. <clears throat> I wasn't going to be the weird kid sitting alone at a friend's house. I had far too much pride. It happens. That kid sounds excited to die, man. Whoa! The graphics, the CGI, Each holy crap! The sink washing dishes normally, but what caught my eye was the table. The Pokemon well, cards. Never ending supply of cut up bananas. I have a ton Luke's of them. His mother recklessly put the banana peels all over the Pokemon cards. Most notably, my Blaziken card. I'm making a mess, which I was obsessed with, since he was my starter in Ruby. I caught her attention by saying, "I have so many." Hey. My dad paid a lot for these cards. And this whole box is filled with Pokemon cards. Smile. Would you like a snack before bed? Oh my god, her Sorry eyes. For the tears. Mr. Roberts hasn't been acting normal lately. He's been... Luke's mother began to tremble talking about something, but I couldn't pay any attention. Sounds like she's being abused, my guy. my eye, I noticed something. A 40 pizza rolls. bag of combination pizza rolls. <laughs> Which was fucked because all she offered all night was cut up bananas. It's like, <laughs> if you have pizza rolls, why not just throw a couple in the oven for your guest? They're called plotting! Well, a child. And they're delicious, if you make them right. Hey, I'm, I'm assuming you didn't, since you're calling them sliced bananas. What the fuck? Come. It's time for prayer before bed. I'm Jamaican, so I'm offended by that. <laughs> They're in the room praying, okay. That's okay that they're praying. What the f <laughs> I hope you're able to sleep okay tonight. Ooh, you missed the prayer and he ain't happy with you at all. They're praying, that's fine, there's nothing weird about that. God. Hey, do you want to play Donkey Konga? I didn't give an answer. I remained silent and still. <clears throat> I never got to play that game. Suddenly, I was blinded by the light from Luke's TV. And there he was. I wanted to. Hitting the plastic bongo drums and giggling to himself. Oh my god, the father's just creeping. I noticed that the door was still cracked. And the father was still lingering. Looking into the room. Right at my eyes, he pulled out a banana and started to eat it. Oh, this is gonna get weird. The slow rotation of his jaw grating like steel on steel, his eyes never blinking, only staring, forever staring. <laughs> and that's where my memory ends. What? And I have always been fascinated with religion and the afterlife ever since then. I was gonna ask if th is this weird or taste my mouth with a hint of banana. Take care, everyone. Good night, everybody. Or is this just how you remember it since you were young? I want to just go over a few things that I wanted to just talk about. One, 
I never really liked pizza gro pizza rolls growing up. I never liked them. I never liked pizza rolls, and I've never I haven't had them since then. I have this Blaziken card. Yes, this in this entire box that I have is filled with Pokemon cards, mostly first gen. I never went back and bought uh Pokemon cards. Uh, these are all the cards that I've had since I was younger. I have all my original Beyblades, all my original Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Still have my you know Yu-Gi-Oh dual discs. Again, yeah, these are mostly all first gen that i've had they've just been sitting like this forever people are probably gonna be mad i i just gotta say too now that we're on the topic of pokemon cards yes i got excited to see blaziken and, and pokemon cards on screen and i was like oh my god i have those too but i don't buy pokemon cards at all anymore i haven't since i was a kid i just i just all the things that i've collected over the years i've just managed to keep i still have my original gaming consoles cards all of that so i just have them all still um I don't plan on doing anything with them, uh, but do I buy any more? Absolutely not. I only say that because I have no idea how or why Pokemon cards became so popular again, but I understand why Target stopped selling them because, oh my God, this is disrespectful right here to have this banana sitting there on a, on Blaziken like that because he's one of my favorites as well, even though in every Pokemon game I have ever played i always started off as the water type and it's been a tradition since then i have never gone back on that um it was crazy when she was talking here because her nail popped off we, I, I guess i don't need to really show you um and then the one last detail that i wanted to cover was after no where is it after the prayer when he went upstairs and he was talking to him i didn't actually realize this until uh, it took me a minute to realize that his hands are black and blue from abusing the shit out of his wife oh oh man and that's some obviously disgusting behavior um and subhuman behavior that was your first some slumber party usually the horror stories don't come until like way later that was your first slumber party dude i am so sorry my the biggest takeaway from this is that i'm happy nothing happened to him that night and he's, he's alive to tell this story the most heartbreaking part of this story is that i realized that like uh I think like there was no plotting involved. I think the family really did just buy regular plain bananas and just cut them up into slices and gave it to him. And I and I'm, I'm over here like, why would you eat that? <laughs> you eat plotting. What is this? <laughs> I would be mad too. The person over at Meat Canyon, thank you so much for sharing this very personal story of yours. And I hope we get more videos like it. Um, and that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I kind of like talked about this particular video for a very long time. <laughs> um, Anyway, guys, I love you all. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.